Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I get a lot of questions about steroids, and it's a topic that I've tried not to talk about, but I've noticed there's so much misinformation about this, so I figured I'd, it's about time I start helping some guys out. And one of the biggest ones is, uh, the questions is, what are the consequences after stopping steroid usage? Basically, what happens short and long term, right? The good and the bad, or the positives and negatives. And to begin with, you know, why should you even listen to me, right? Well, my doctorate degree is in pharmacology and also endocrinology. Now, pharmacology, which is a study of drugs, and I've also taken it a big step deeper with the study of nutraceuticals being herbs and plant extracts, which incidentally, over 50% of drugs have been based on natural substances found in nature. And also endocrinology, which is the study of hormones. So this makes me a bit of an expert about this topic. However, more importantly, I also have many years of real life, just clinical experience dealing with just professional athletes and bodybuilders where I had to basically redo their entire drug protocols so they can be safer, healthier, and actually get more results. All right, so with that said, let's just start first with the positive effects. Now, as, po- as far as the positive effects for healthy men taking steroids, thus not people who are sick or ill, such as people who have AIDS or other wasting diseases, The only real positive effects uh, for doing a cycle of steroids is that it will actually help you surpass your natural genetics. Or more importantly, or more accurately, I should say, it'll help you get to your limit, that natural limit, much faster. And thus, after a cycle, you'll actually be able to keep some of that newly grown, you know, quote unquote, steroid induced muscle growth. For example, I'm just going to use some round numbers. Let's say you gain 20 pounds of muscle on a 12-week cycle. You'll actually end up losing, let's say, about 12 pounds and keep about 8 pounds of muscle or weight. This is new muscle that would have taken you years to gain naturally, but you fast-forwarded the result and grew it all in three months. However, this is assuming that you do everything correctly, both during and more importantly, after your cycle, which is another topic for a different day. This is the only real benefit, in my opinion. So let's now move on to the negative side effects. First, I'll discuss a lot of the short-term negative side effects that will basically come and go. So it's not really, you know, horrible. Acne is one of them, basically zits. Now, some people will get them and some people won't. And it all depends on your genetics, your diet, your hygiene, and the type of steroids you take. Now, these will go away after your cycle, the, the, the acne. However, if you pick at them, right, they can actually leave acne scars, and that's the only real permanent negative effect, in my opinion. Then we have liver stress. Your liver will be under extra stress with steroids, all right, even with the injectables, but mainly the orals. Again, after your cycle, your liver enzymes will go back to normal. Uh, next one is fatigue. Now, many steroids will initially give you more energy, but over time, they can decrease your energy levels, make you just tired, especially the orals. Then we have high cholesterol. Almost all steroids will cause negative effects on your lipid levels. Orals are the worst, but so are most injectables that don't convert to estrogen. Estrogen actually helps your uh, your cholesterol levels. Needless to say, your lipid and cholesterol levels will go back to normal after the cycle. And unless you're going to be doing steroids for many years, you know, ongoing, your body will heal itself. Just make sure you eat healthy foods on your cycle and preferably take some herbs to help Uh, mitigate the negative effects of your lipid levels during your cycle. Next, we have high blood pressure. Like cholesterol, this will go back to normal after your cycle. However, if it's elevated too much for too long, you might actually get a stroke, and this does happen, and it can also cause renal and kidney problems, the high blood pressure, which can result in kidney failure and dialysis, and this does happen plenty of times, so keep an eye on your blood pressure. You have to understand both uh, high cholesterol and blood pressure, you know, make sure you also take natural herbs and supplements during and after your cycle to control both of these problems. Make sure your diet is good as well. And I'll give you uh, links for natural solutions to help fix these two problems um, after you watch this video below in the description area. All right, so now let's move on to more long-term permanent side effects, which I think are the real problems. The first is hair loss. Now, this is a real problem that nobody wants, all right? However, this is caused by genetics and also the type of steroids you take. Needless to say, even people with the 
best genetics will lose hair when you take high doses of steroids, especially certain ones, for long periods of time. And I'll have a link about uh, uh, about this in another video that I've done about hair loss in that you can actually watch on YouTube. And I'll have a link to that below this video in the description area as well. Next is testicular shrinkage. And no, steroids don't make your, your, your penis shrink, but they do make your testicles shrink. In fact, all steroids will cause this. Now, there are ways around this, but it's just too complicated for me to get in this video. And your testicles will grow back after your cycle. However, for what it's worth, they will never be as big as they were previous to you ever taking steroids. Now we have infertility. Now, did you know that, that the male birth control, all right, is steroids, specifically testosterone, also nandrolone based steroids? And this is because exogenous testosterone, you know, from the outside actually causes your testicles to shrink, which I mentioned above. Uh, because they're no longer going to be producing any testosterone internally, and thus this also stops producing sperm. Now, some guys can actually get a woman pregnant during a cycle, but generally this is not the usual norm. However, the real problem is that this infertility actually continues even post-cycle for many men. And the longer you're on steroids, the worse the situation is. And yes, there are ways around this, but again, too much, too complicated for this one video. Then we have loss of libido and sex drive. Speaking of which, all right, the above two situations, you know, the infertility and the testicular shrinkage also cause loss of libido in most guys. Now, all steroids will decrease your sex drive, except for just pure testosterone, all right? Even with testosterone, too much or too little will also decrease your libido due to conversions to other hormones, more specifically estrogens. And this is a major issue because this will negatively affect your relationships. And this also continues post-cycle for most guys. And then finally, we have mood. I want you to listen carefully. All right, I believe that the biggest problem with all of these is the changes in your mood and your mindset. Listen, certain steroids will make you just down and gloomy and depressed, all right? Even though you look and feel, I mean, you, you look and perform well, mentally they're not good. And certain steroids will actually make you more aggressive and angry and short-tempered, both of these being bad for your relationships. However, the real problem is that these powerful hormones are very addictive, all right, both physically and emotionally. So it's just very hard to get off of steroids and stay off. And I believe this is the biggest problem. So in closing, just remember that anything that will turn off your natural hormones, specifically testosterone, will cause lots of negative side effects, both short and especially long term. Genetics always plays a big part in all this, as does the type of steroids, all right, the dosage and the duration. Anyway, you can do whatever you'd like, all right? It's your health. I'm just here to, to, to give you some suggestions. However, make sure you do a lot of research and prepare accordingly. And please, please don't listen to all that bullshit bro science you read on the message boards and all over the internet, all right? Over, well over 95% of it, of all that information that you read about is completely wrong and just written by guys who have no idea. They're just repeating and copying and pasting some other idiot's information, all right? Now, I've got some links below this video about certain uh, supplements and things you can do to help you avoid many of these negative side effects. Um, I hope they'll be of some help for you, all right? So that's it for today. I hope this video gave you a little bit more clarity. If it was helpful, please subscribe to this channel. You know, click that bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos. And let me know what questions you have about today, what you liked, what you um, want to hear more of, just make sure you leave your comments below. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.